Okay. All right, so welcome everybody. It is uh, an emergency business meeting uh, for Cape Elizabeth School Board. It's 6.15 on Tuesday, June 15th, 2021. Um, reviewing as we always do before our meetings, our strategic plan go goals, our health and well-being, global competency, multiple pathways and definitions of success, safe and sustainable, safe, sustainable and effective facilities and environmental responsibilities. Uh, roll call, Heather Altenberg here, Kimberly Carr. Here. Phil Saucier. Here. Elizabeth Seifries. Here. Cynthia Volts. Here. Jennifer McVeigh. Here. And Laura Danino, not present. Um, Donna, can we use your flag for the Pledge of Allegiance? Sure. Here it is. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay, may I have a motion please? I move that the school board hereby authorize the superintendent of the Cape Elizabeth School Department for and on behalf of the school department and the town to execute and deliver a municipal lease purchase agreement or similar financing arrangement with Apple Incorporated or a leasing company in the amount of $59,695 and bearing a 0.00% interest rate. May I have a second? Second. Thank you, Phil. Uh, Donna or Marcy, can you explain this, talk to us a little bit about this, please? Um, yes, um, thank you for doing this tonight. The timing, we wanted to make sure we got this lease purchase approved by everyone. This is for the ninth grade rotation of um, 100 iPads. So this will be a three-year lease and this is part of the regular rotating lease program that we have. And this is um, the, a smaller amount. This is only a $59,000 lease and it's only for the ninth graders for 100 iPads to be replaced. But the timing was critical because of the um, supply and demand chain being interrupted and, and we're hoping with fingers crossed that we can get these in by the beginning of the school year at this time. So thank you for tonight. You're welcome. Thanks for organizing it and being on top of it. Are there any questions from school board members? A question, um, What with a three-year commitment, is there, um, if for some reason, I know we have new technology staff coming in, if there is a decision to go in a different direction than iPads for technology, are we able to exit the lease early on these or are there any, is there any flexibility in the duration? Um, with it, probably not with that. But um, it, since it's only 101 grade, we would probably be able to start the new year uh, with the new round of lease agreements for next year with a different plan if that's what the technology director decided to do. Mm -hmm. um, the good news is this is only for, for one grade. And if that would be a different plan, they could always, they've in the past, they've, if they've changed plans, they've shifted it down to the younger grades for the, okay. to start the rotation. Okay. So potentially if it would be one year, we could still use the iPads for the younger grade. That's, that's, a, that's just my uh, assumption right now, Cindy, with how they would rotate. Right. Yeah. I just, it, it concerns me that we continue to enter in these longer contracts with, with iPads when we may be going, you know, we may have different input on technology with the new technology director in place. So that's, that's a good note taken. And I think that what I'll do is make a note of, of that to be uh, reviewed when we have our new technology director in place and the overall plan with that. Especially with um, the Milti grant being implemented, that's also coming our way this summer. I'll keep everybody posted. I was talking to Don about that this morning and that's the big lease that will be coming our way that will be a reimbursable lease. So, um, I'm hoping that we'll have somebody in place before that happens, but that will be a quick operation this summer as well. 
Marcy, kind of like to bounce off Cindy's question, does it, it feels like there's action that just needs to be taken now and then going forward, we would really want to mm -hmm. lean on and get the advice from our new um, educational technology director after. 100% agree. Going down the road. Yeah, I'm right. making a big note that that will be one of our things that we tackle is just a, look at a long range planning view of all of this. Great, thanks. Yeah. And Marcy, yeah, just, correct me, or Donna, correct me if I'm wrong, but I mean, there's a many, many, many uses for those 100 iPads, especially oh, in yeah. special education, where correct. many programs only operate on iPads. So I feel like we could find a, a home Definitely. for them very easily. Definitely. Definitely. And we always rotate yeah. them down anyway, so it would just be an earlier rotation of them down and, and all the other ones down. Mm -hmm. so. But definitely, I think before, like you said, the larger... Milty grant and before mm -hmm. we're looking at larger spending for technology, mm -hmm. I'd hate to be locked into a limiting technology mm -hmm. for a long term, particularly for the upper grades. Yeah, yeah definitely. And um, again, I think what I like about this lease is the fact that it's only 100 uh, pieces yeah. of equipment. So oh. it leaves us able to continue that review mm -hmm. on a large oh. scale. I'll put a plug in for laptops later <laughs> for that discussion. Yes. No, they're more expensive, but um, I think that's on the I think that's on the docket, Elizabeth, for Milty. I think. I know, and I and I was part of the group. I mean, it, I think only maybe Heather was on that um, in the group, and we had a really big technology review, and we were considering making the investment of laptops for the high school. We looked at laptops, we looked at the um, iPads with the hard cases and keyboards, which is what they have now. Okay. And then we also looked at Chromebooks and we immediately got rid of Chromebooks, but because they're incredibly limiting and really wouldn't do any of the things that the students needed. Mm -hmm. But I mean, at the time our budget just couldn't support it. And there right. are so many times when that happens. So I hope we can do that kind of long range planning, having witnessed my own child who has, who, you know, she's a junior now and yeah. you know, there was a lot more use of mom's laptop than than yeah. the iPad. The iPads are very difficult to write. Yeah. Um, you know your AP essay on or your longer whatever. Yeah, true. They're limiting. So I'm going to just throw it out there since it's yeah. the end of the school year and people are leaving and well, someone make and, a note. <laughs> yeah. And to add to that, also just to prepare prepare students for what they're going to use in the workplace. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, iPads aren't used in the workplace. You know, the, the kids yeah. that are, you know, we're trying to enhance our programming offerings. We're trying to enhance some of our, you know, other technology offerings and, and iPads just aren't the right tool for that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I like that. I'm, I'm making a huge note about it. And um, like we said, the uh, Donna has mentioned other uses for iPads as well in our conversations. So I know the hundred worst case um, between staff and the younger grades can, can use those, but I like that to do a global review. Okay, do we think we're ready to vote? Okay, Heather Altenberg is a yay. Kimberly Carr? Yay. Phil Saucier? Yay. Elizabeth Seifries? Yay. Jan McVeigh? Yay. Sorry, I skipped you, Cindy. Cindy Waltz? Yay. And Laura Danino is not present. May I have a motion, please? It's adjourned. Can we adjourn? Great. May I have a second? Second. Uh, okay. Heather Altenberg is a yay. Kimberly Carr? Yay. Phil Saucier? Yay. Elizabeth Seifries? Yay. Cindy Bolts? Yay. Jen McFay? Yay. Laura Danino is not present. Thank you for finding the time to be here tonight. Happy last Thank day you. of school. Thanks so Take much. Take care, everyone. Appreciate it. Thanks again, Donna and Marcy. Bye-bye.